Hey, what's going on everybody? Jake Rico here, coming at you with a contest entry for Blu-ray Hunter. Um, I guess we're told to choose five movies that we would recommend watching, and I actually have seven, um, but I'm going to make this brief. I just kind of want to add in a couple more movies that I recommend watching, so it's not in any order of what movie I like best, but um, I start off with this first movie. It's called Great Iron Gang, starring The Rock and Exhibit. Uh, one of The Rock's best performances in a movie, uh, in my opinion. Uh, he's pretty much like a probation officer uh, at juvenile um, at a juvenile prison. So a bunch of these uh, teenage delinquents, you know, they're sent here whether they kill somebody or they steal money or they steal cars or whatever. Um, they're sent here and they're they're they serve time pretty much. And um, so what happens is, is that they're looking at their statistics and I guess like they're looking at percentages and, you know, a certain amount of percentage, the more, a more majority of the percentage of delinquents, they, they go back to their old roots, they get killed, um, nothing's changed, you know, they, they serve their time, they get out and then they go back to their old roots. So what the rocket, the rocks plan is to, um, he wants to change the system. So where they actually learn something in juvie, and they end up, you know, living a good life, going to school, uh, growing away from their old roots, you know, growing away from it, uh, being more responsible. So he pretty much assembles a football team, and what these, what this football team is supposed to do is discipline them, uh, so they're more, uh, you know, they act more of a, as a team, responsibility. Um, just discipline them uh, in a way so they're they're more uh, acclimated to each other and more aware and they have good characteristics. So it's supposed to build a lot of tolerance. But yeah, it's a very riveting movie and I recommend this movie. Um, so yeah, Great Iron Gang, starring The Rock and Exhibit. Uh, next up, I have uh, Men of Honor, starring Robert De Niro and Cuba Gooding Jr. A uh, very good movie, one of my favorites. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. is actually uh, a U.S. Navy SEAL, or not Navy SEAL, but a Navy sailor. Um, so what he does is, he pretty much, I don't know what it's called, like I think it's, it's not scuba diving, but you kind of like go underwater. Um, I, I, I can't remember what, what uh, his job line was in here, but he's actually... He's trained to go in, to go under deep sea uh, diving, and something happens on the ship uh, during one of his trainings, and his leg gets like cut off by like one of the anchors. And this whole movie, uh, majority of the movie, is his struggles of recovering and going back to what he loves, and proving to um, like the board of the navy or the higher up people that. You know he's still eligible to serve his time and be, and still continue his career as a U.S. Navy sailor. So it's a very riveting film, uh, best in my opinion. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. is like really good in this movie, so I highly recommend Men of Honor. Uh, next up, I recommend this is uh, movie number three, uh, The Negotiator, starring Samuel L. Jackson and Kevin Spacey, both negotiators. Uh, one of Samuel Jackson's best performances, uh, Kevin Spacey as well. Um, this is where uh, Samuel Jackson, to, in my opinion, really shines um, in a lead role. But yeah, it's pretty much, uh, his name's Danny Roman in this movie. He gets caught up in an embezzlement, um, an internal affairs situation within the police agency, uh, police field. Uh, police force, and then uh, his partner he gets caught up into this this whole situation. He gets murdered, so the blame is put on Danny Roman, and pretty much the whole movie is him trying to prove his innocence um, that he didn't, you know, he was nothing, he wasn't a part of anything, and he's trying to figure out who set him up. And it's a really good, really good movie. I recommend this the Negotiator. All right. Um, next up is The Legend of Bagger Vance, starring Will Smith. 
uh, Matt Damon and Charlize Theron. Uh, one of my favorite movies. Uh, best supporting actor, Will Smith, in my opinion. Uh, so it's about in uh, pretty much uh, Matt Damon. He's a he's supposed to, he's not really like a legendary golfer, but he's one of the best golfers in his town. Um, and what happens is he goes to war and he kind of like loses it, loses his mind and, you know, seeing all the deaths and it, it kind of like messes up your mind after you come back from the war. So, um, I guess Charlize Theron, she's kind of like, she has a, uh, like a lot of money and she owns like majority of the land in this town and she tries to, um, she pretty much builds like a, kind of like fundraises a charity game between like two of the other uh, great golfers around that time. I think one of them was like Walter Hagen. And I forgot the other golfer, but Will Smith's part is he pretty much tries to help uh, Matt Damon resurrect his career during the game. Uh, very, very good film. I don't want to get too much in detail, but it's something that I recommend anybody to watch. So, uh, The Legend of Bagger Vance. Uh, movie number five. Let's see. I probably would recommend, actually I do recommend, is Frequency, one of my favorite films, starring Dennis Quaid and Jim Caviezel. Um, it's an intense, it's intense movie. It's kind of hard to explain, but what happens is um, his father dies when he's a younger, at a young age, and he's always on this transmitter, um, this frequency thing. Um, always talking to people across the states who's ever on the transmission on the transmitter so one day like maybe like 30 years later about 30 years later you know he, Jim Caviezel the son brings back this uh, transmitter you know he on I mean he brings it up he brings it back fixes it and he starts playing with it again and thing is that on the other end it's actually his father because there's some airwaves frequencies in the air um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's, it's a really good movie. Just trust me. It's Frequency, uh, starring Dennis Quaid and Jim Caviezel. So, yeah. It's pretty much, pretty, he's trying to bring his father back from the past. It's kind of like past meets future, or future meets past, or, you know, it's one of those type of movies. But, definitely recommend. Uh, so these, these are two extra films that I recommend watching. Uh, just to throw these in, uh, the first move, uh, the first one is Rudy, one of the most inspirational films I've ever watched. In it's it's an expiring film. Every time I watch this movie, I just want to you know do something that I've always wanted to do and just accomplish it in a way that it's inspiring. So uh, Rudy, uh, starring uh, Sean Astin from The Goonies. So it's about, you know, a football player, uh, not really a football player, but he's just, he's always destined, always wanted to be a football player for Notre Dame. He's played football, you know, ever since he was a child and he's always the low end. He's kind of like the underdog. Um, but it's just his struggles, uh, trying to get through school, trying to attend Notre Dame and be on this football team and prove to not only his father but his brother as well that he can you know uh, make it to the team and be a part of the team and play with the team and they've always kind of like downplayed him you know like you're not serious right you're not you're not gonna try to like go for this team you know, you're not good enough so it's pretty much his rise from the bottom to the top in this film so Rudy and the seventh movie I recommend is uh, Time to Kill, starring Sandra Bullock, uh, Samuel Jackson, and um, Matthew McConaughey. Also, Kevin Spacey is in this movie. Uh, who else is in this? Uh, Kiefer Sutherland is in this movie. Even Donald Sutherland is in this movie. Like, there's a, a strong cast in this movie. And it's pretty much about um, Samuel Jackson's little girl getting raped by um, two... Uh, I wouldn't say, I would say two rednecks. I mean, that's what they call them. It's like two rednecks in this movie. And it goes through the, the whole process of um, 
civil action. Uh, there's KKKs in this movie. Uh, so it's pretty much kind of like a fight for a man's daughter because her daughter get, her daughter gets raped and nearly killed by two white men. And it's pretty much a Samuel L. Jackson's fight to uh, prove his innocence because he ends up killing the two guys that raped his daughter. And Matthew McConaughey is his lawyer and Sandra Bullock is kind of like a supporting, kind of helps Matthew McConaughey prove uh, Samuel L. Jackson's innocence. Um, but yeah, it's a very riveting film, and I do recommend watching this movie. So yeah, uh, this is my contest entry for Blu-ray Hunter. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and not only for Blu-ray Hunter, but other viewers as well, uh, to watch these movies. A very, very good collection, and you won't be disappointed. Uh, very uh, inspirational, riveting films, uh, action-packed films, drama films. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.